Welcome to the stream. Back to back janked up Mario Party. I, I felt like it, so. Plus, kind of at the end of it, there's, I, would, I counted, I think six stages left, so. Making a bit more of an effort to finish this. It also opened up the stream with, uh, in a snowbound land, so. Just setting that zen tone right away. Uh. Right, so we're going into Chains of Atrophy first and collecting the Dragon Coins there. I should really check all the houses and see if I've got on all the upgrades. I might do that very quickly. Um, cause here... See, this is interesting, cause I thought that this map would connect... ...at the very least across to here, but it doesn't, so that's strange. Anyway, that aside. Hey, Nectar, how's it going? Yeah, I'm just gonna do a quick look around and maybe see if all the houses have had their stuff unlocked, because... Yeah. Good, good, good to hear. I'm doing okay, just a bit tired, had a pretty long work day. Did I get any sleep? Uh, better than yesterday, but still a bit erratic. I've been doing this routine before going to bed, just making sure there's no mosquitoes in the room. Okay, I'm gonna make sure everything's been unlocked. Yeah, I mean, we'll see. I don't know how long I'll, I'll do this for, but... I'm not sure what I'm up against from a stage perspective. Right now I'm just visiting all the houses, making sure that I've unlocked everything. Seems like it. I don't know why, but I seem to vaguely recall that there was a, uh... Hold up, I forgot to... X set of messaging up. Um... I seem to recall that this had an upgrade where you would jump and then you'd be able to turn your normal jump into a spin jump mid-air. But... I don't know why I remember that. Maybe it's not a thing. Oh my god. This shoe restores your previous speed on the map. Oh, no, that's not what I want. No, I want the fast shoe. Give me boots of speed, thank you. Why would I ever want the slow one? 
No, it, it's just sped up so then it doesn't do the original intended animation. That's all. Wait a minute. Okay, that one leads there. I was curious, like, where that goes. No, because otherwise, it, it, there's nothing wrong with the animation, it's just it takes too long, and it's a massive map. Okay, well this is just a stage, it doesn't have any unlocks. Maybe I'm not remembering this correctly. Alright, well that's all the houses, so I guess they have done everything. I'm not looking forward to some of the stuff I'm gonna have to do. I'm wondering if this is just gonna culminate in something extremely difficult. Is the Black Friday thing. Um, I don't usually partake in that stuff, at least not from a physical location point of view, but I need, I need to get a new hard drive to store footage onto, so I, I'm gonna be on the lookout for that tomorrow. And then, because I've been playing quite a bit of Diablo and stuff in bed, this sounds like such a big first world problem, but like, I have a Switch that I got on day one, and it served me pretty well. However, here's, here's the thing. It's kind of in an awkward spot, like I would want to get a new one, because there has been a, a revision, there's the OLED model. It has a better battery. But, the thing is, it's like, the console is... I think next year it's turning six. Or seven. It's been out for a while, and it's like... I'm kind of worried that they might introduce whatever's going to replace it next year. But the issue is the battery just really does not last. Like, it's... it's old. It doesn't even have its original case. Like, the original case cracked, so it's made out of, like, this cheap plastic... <laughs> I mean, it looks alright, but, like, it, the plastic is very, very bad, so, it's been hanging in there. But I might cave and get an OLED switch. I hated this gimmick, this gimmick was so dumb. On top of that, it's an ice stage. Oh. It's okay, I can do that. Yeah, I mean, Black Friday never used to be a thing here, because it's specifically for Thanksgiving, right? And that's purely an American thing. But it's gotten a larger presence since Amazon opened in Australia. Ah, oh, crap. Don't do Turkey Day. I, no one really does it. It's just the Americans. You'd be surprised at the amount of Americans that are surprised that, um... We don't do Thanksgiving. Okay, I, I'm gonna- I'm just gonna say it, and this might sound hilarious and typical of me, but like... The context here is, for Christmas, the old people in my family want turkey. 
I think Turkey is overrated, and it sucks. And it's like, even if you perfectly cook it, right? You know, you're on your A game with turkey preparation and everything. It is never going to be as good as chicken. I'm sorry, it's, it's just not going to be. Okay. Cool, so, okay. Uh, uh -huh. But now... Oh, this is fucking awkward. Maybe I should have read the box, huh? It's not to say turkey is bad. You can definitely make turkey that tastes good, however... Chicken will always be better, I'm sorry. <laughs> It's... okay. So, when you cook a turkey... If you do it incorrectly, which is not that difficult... It becomes dry. Whereas in chicken, you really, really have to mess it up. To get to that same level of dryness. You know? Don't really mind you can get stuff for Halloween. Here this year, Halloween was a lot bigger, and I think it's just because of the pandemic. Uh, parents wanted the kids to get out and do something, which they've kind of been missing out on for the last two, th almost three years. So, um, there's been more, more Halloween stuff. To the point where people have opened their houses and they've decorated them, much like you would see um, in movies, so. Okay, what does this say? Just so you know, those eater blocks will only activate if you stand on top of a brown block. If you mess up, don't gripe, just use a pipe. Okay. It, it's still not clear what, what I should do here. I guess the reason Halloween never really interested me as a kid is just... And I just... It, it sounds like I just... I'm not... I wasn't... I was like an adult as a child, but... Um... Okay, there we go. But I'm just not into- I'm just not into sweet stuff. I- I've never have been. For me, sweet stuff... I really had to be in the mood, and as an adult... Um... I generally only have sweet stuff... If it's in the morning with like a coffee or something, right? Yeah, like candy, um, chocolate... Oh, okay. Yeah, the, the stuff associated with trick-or-treating, right? But, I mean, it also covers cake and whatnot. Oh, nice. Yeah, nice. What? Oh, that's not- oh, that's not fair. It got rid of the dragon coin. It said, don't stress, use a pipe. So where's the- where's the pipe? Yeah? Uh, great, I need to die. You do enjoy the dressing up thing. Oh, I appreciate that aspect of it as well. I was always lazy with costumes. The few times that I did go to a Halloween party. Um... 
because I had family that went, you know, to Central America and stuff, I had, um, like, as you would call, I guess, <laughs> traditional outfits, I don't know. So, I had the hats and everything, so I would just go as, as something like that, more or less. But, given recent times, if I was to dress up nowadays, I think I had a missed opportunity. Like, I could have I could have gone as Wario, and I kind of regret not thinking of that sooner. So, that, that'll be a, a thing for me if it were to happen again. Crap. <laughs> I would have fun with that. It'd be pretty easy to do. Wait, you don't do family thing, but you've enjoyed some with friends. Don't do trick or treating, just dinner and a party. Yeah, I mean that's that's more or less what uh, I've experienced is just like a a costume party, more or less. No trick or treating. I was overcomplicating it. Ah! <laughs> Damn it. Ah, these last six levels are gonna be are gonna be an experience. mechanics in a platformer is just the concept of ice and just it's not it's not just textures that um that are like this right like this is understandable why this is slippery I, I get it but everything the whole stage being slippery come on But I guess that's just coming from someone that has never experienced ice. Like, I, I am extremely sheltered in that regard. I've experienced snow. I mean, not, not to the extent of maybe North America and Europe, right? But I've seen snow. This is just obnoxious. <laughs> it had snow a couple of days ago. Yeah, I I've seen pictures of, like, snow happening overnight recently in a multitude of places. It just looks like you're from another planet. I just, I, I cannot fathom how you would go to bed one night and then suddenly it's, it's that. I've been saying I, I wish that, you know, conceptually heat would turn up in a photo. You know how you have that mirage effect? Just imagine that would come across in a photo perfectly, and you could see just how hot things were. But I can't convey that, it's like... Ah! <laughs> how did I do that the first time? Two hours of cleaning the driveway and now it's all gone again, jeez. I'll be a little frustrating. And it's two hours that you have to spend. Because if you don't, well... Okay, I, I've asked a few people this, but how, how do you function when it's like that in the snow, really? Like, Cat showed me how much snow was happening, and you know, the video 
that she filmed, you could hear the physical exertion in her voice just moving around. And I was like, how, how do you function? Just going out to get the mail sounds like it would be the equivalent of me, like, running 10 kilometers or something. I'd be completely winded in minutes. Temperature wise? No, no, not temperature mailers, but more like when it's heavy on snow and you have to go do something. And then you have to move in very thick snow. Or like your car, you have to do all this extra effort to prepare your car for the snow. Listen, the, the heat sucks. It really does, but all I have to do is turn on the air conditioner. And I'm good. Push of a button, most of the problems are solved. Oh, okay. Alright, so don't... Don't touch. Block. Oh, you dick. <laughs> oh, I hate this stage already. Yeah, so, okay, when it gets cold here, the most I have to do with a car is just start the defog process, right? There might be some frost at worst, but that's it. That's the worst that it gets. I can't imagine having to go to the effort of doing the snow tire thing, or let alone moving around in super thick snow. It just sounds physically exerting. Does anyone that lives in an area that's uh, bound to snow, do they just have very strong legs? Like strangely muscular legs just because of uh, how they have to move in thick snow. Think about that for a sec. Also, hey, Solo Candy. How's it going? Okay, being big here is, is a liability. Oh, there's, there's no way I'm getting this when I'm big. I have to I have to shrink down. Okay, I need to practice this because otherwise I'm never gonna get it. So you jump. Okay, so let's this is the one that I need to. Okay, so it's it's like that, you go. But I can't touch that block either. Okay, and the- oh yeah, okay. Um, let me just do that. No, like, it, I reckon if you do a comparison... ...of someone... ...in winter, right? It has to be the same condition. So it has to be winter. And you take someone that lives in an area that gets completely snowed in, and someone that doesn't, and just take people just take people that aren't considered fit, right? They're not exactly athletic or whatever, just your standard person. Y you'd probably find that the person in the snow would have strangely muscular legs. Or maybe just might be generally more fit in that time of year just because of all the extra stuff they have to do in the snow. That's what I'm saying, is like, it just sounds exhausting. These are, these are like shower thoughts right here. I, I, I've had a long day, so maybe that's what's... I don't know, causing this. I don't even know how I got on this topic, but whatever, like... Think about it. As unhealthy as you might be right now, you're probably still a lot more healthier than the person that isn't experiencing this winter.
I have to talk about something, otherwise this stage is, is gonna... Ugh. Okay. It's just one of these stages that, uh, reminds me of Mario Maker, just... ...designed to punish the player. Yep. I hesitated, I should have just gone. I picked this stage because I think out of the six that I have left to do, this is the easiest. Which, yeah, does not bode well for me, but, you know. I wonder if it's the same, like, let's say physical exertion in winter makes you healthier. I wonder if summer does the same thing for us because we sweat a lot. Just because of how hot it gets. But then again, if we turn on the air conditioning, we don't really sweat. But if we do do anything, we do sweat quite a bit more, so... Maybe... That has an, a similar effect? I don't know. Maybe everyone's just generally unhealthy in fall and spring, because there's no extra exertion going. It doesn't always snow either. Listen, it's still more than what I get. You would you would laugh at the snow report here. This is the this is the the snow report that I've experienced. It's ah yes, we have a beautiful snow season starting in two weeks. It's gonna be great. You know, go up to the mountains, take the whole family, but you better go quickly because it's uh, gonna be gone by Monday. And that happens maybe twice. And that's it. <laughs> oh, I, ha I hate this. Why? Why? Just let me get the checkpoint. It's, it's more frustrating because it's a snow level. And I have no traction. It's just everything is slippery and I have to do this precise platforming segment. It's just, it's not fun. Just go visit Sweden in winter, it's going to be magical and freezing. I mean, I've talked about it before, like, my idea of traveling, it's gonna be somewhere where it snows, and it's gonna be Japan first, like. Because it's something that is completely different to what I'm used to. Whether it be culturally or for, for like a climate perspective, right? There's actually quite a few uh, trips that travel agencies do here in Australia where it's... You get to visit Sweden, Norway, Denmark, and Finland. And you kind of do a, a bunch of stuff in each country. Yeah, all of them in one. Yeah, the on the only thing about that is uh, it's pretty frantic because you're on a pretty tight schedule. You're visiting all those countries, so you have to stick to an itinerary. Wait. Wait, even in being North North America, you never, like, have to move through snow like I'm describing. Maybe a step or two out of your door to get a shovel and clear it up. Okay, but that's still way more than what I have to do. Oh. Wait. And then if I do this, does it come back? I've never- I've, I've just never had that experience where I have to do all this stuff. Just to make sure that I can go about my day.
Oh, this, yeah, this is disgusting. But at least I have the checkpoint now, so I don't have to do that part. Never been in air that hurts my face. Uh, can't say that I have. Wait, okay, no, nah, ha, ha, no, I have. But not the kind of air that you would think of. I've been in heat that hurts my face, so yes. But that's, that's extreme. On those kind of days, no one's outside, basically. It's, you're gonna be indoors, you're gonna be in air conditioning. Like, that's the thing, is... <sighs> you might say that you wouldn't survive here, but... When it comes to those really hot days, no one's outside. And even if you do have to go outside, the places you go to... Um... They're all air conditioned. They have to be. But that's what you would do too. Yeah, but I guess the, the difference is... I... Hang on. Wow, this is annoying. Like, let's say I have to go somewhere where it's... R and it's really, really hot. I just go outside and get in my car and then, you know, go. If it's really, really cold, I have to think, oh, have I put the snow tires on? Um, do I need to do a bunch of stuff to make sure my car actually starts? Like, that's what I'm saying. It's still more inconvenient. You've never put snow tires on. Okay. Like chains. Yeah, I guess chains and having um, an emergency pack where you have kitty litter, for example, like if you get stuck in the snow. Or something that provides your wheels traction. It's like normal to change your tires before the cold sets fully. Yeah, okay, see, that's something I don't experience. I'm not saying I want to experience that. <laughs> I think I'm good, but... Wait a minute. Oh. It's a puzzle. Because now I can do this. And now it works. Right? No, it doesn't. Uh, because it only starts when the brown block happens. No, but this is still... This stage, um, yeah, I, I don't like it. <laughs> In case it's not obvious. So what, I have to start it and then just predict it? Okay, so... Oh my god, I'm such an idiot. Alright, I got it, I got it, I got it. I got it! These are just normal things you have to deal with because of how high up north you live. Like, you just have to do what you do, you don't even know... ...about... Uh, maybe? I don't know. Have I shared thoughts about Scarlet and Violet yet? Assume that I'm skipping them. I was tempted to get it, but then I decided to stick to the, uh... I guess what I've been following this last year, which is... ...white. 
and see how the first week of the game is. As uh, AAA is kind of a hot mess at the moment. So, here's what I've heard about it. Um, I've heard that from a gameplay perspective, it's, it's really good. There's a lot of things from a mechanics point of view that streamlines the whole game. With the exception of the introduction, right? But, um... I've heard people say it's it's the best Pokemon game in that regard. However, it is complete and utter garbage just how bad the game runs. And how bad it looks. And, uh, It's fine that you can enjoy the game still, but... I don't know, man. Like, Pokemon is... I'm pretty sure it's the largest kids franchise in the, in the world. And it's kind of piss poor that, uh, yeah. That the game is in that state, you know? There are some really janky bugs that I've seen. It's one of those things where if it goes on sale, Sure. But otherwise, yeah, I'll probably skip them. Okay, there we go. Wait, this doesn't technically work, does it? The stage is horrible. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna say it. It's it's horrible. I think I know what to do. I've, it's all order of operations. I've just done it in the wrong order. <sighs> yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm also talking, right? Like, focus isn't 100% there, but... This is highly reminiscent of uh, Mario Maker levels that I would skip. And the person that submits them would get angry. They'd be like, How dare you not spend 40 minutes on my stage? It's okay, I know there's no judgement mailers you've been through. Um, I'm not gonna call them trash stages, but let's face it, trash stages. Uh, dear. Oh, what is- Oh, uh, what is that? I'm sorry, but what? What do you mean? Okay. This is about to get worse, isn't it? I heard something. What, what did I just do? I have to be little Mayro, don't I? Alright, uh, that'll do it for today, chat. Thank you for watching. Appreciate you hanging out, but I've quite clearly fucked myself and can't continue the stream. Okay, good, it's a checkpoint. Is this? I don't understand what this. Oh no! Oh, I hate this already. I have to make a path. 
I have to make a path with that. Ugh. But ah! Stop it! Stop it! Stop doing that! Dude. Oh. <laughs> Damn it. Okay. Do I, I have to guide it? What do you mean? Oh. Oh. oh, whatever, dude. Okay, so it doesn't work unless I get... Yeah, okay. I have to take it up immediately. It's not as bad as I thought it would be, but it's still... I, I don't enjoy this. There's still two dragon coins left. So I know that the stage is nowhere near done. Thought I had it. Oh, no, nah, I messed. I've messed it up. It needs to go higher than that. Dude, it's so janky. this. Okay, look. I'm just gonna get that. That was a reset, wasn't it? Ah! See, it's, it's a puzzle. You need to figure it out. Then how, how do I start this? Okay, well. Uh, okay, why did that do that? Did I need to get rid of all the other blocks? I guess so. I almost got it. sure why that didn't work, but okay. Alright, so... 
I guess I just have to make it clear that it's a path to that. Oh, come on. Okay, that was my only chance to get in here. Grab the wrong one. I mean, I hope I'm doing this correctly. Hopefully that'll work. Okay, it, it did. Ah, it's another underwater one. Okay, so yep, I have to I have to rush in. Alright. <laughs> uh the stage. You know, aside from all the stuff that's associated with the origin of Thanksgiving, I just like the idea of having the day off if it was celebrated here and having a big dinner. That's all I would enjoy about the holiday. I mean, colonial stuff aside, right? <laughs> but it'd be nice to not have to go to work tomorrow. Then again, I guess I can't complain. I mean, I had a deal for a horse race in a football game, so I suppose there's balance. Right, so why can't I just wait here? Oh no, I have to grab. I have to grab the block. I see. Why can't I just do the easy thing, he says. It's because it just doesn't work. That's how it's done. Do I really have to be that far ahead of it? Oh yeah, it's impossible, like I have to. Oh no, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. And then you do this. No, okay, it doesn't work. Oh. Okay, okay, now it makes sense. Now it makes sense, now it makes sense. I bet you grab! Okay, okay. Uh, I get it, I get it, I get it. Stage makes sense now.
and then go through. Ugh! Oh my god. Holy shit. Okay, what did I do wrong here? Fuck! Oh, no! Come on, no! The whole thing! Oh, that's not cool, dude. Oh! Oh, I just realized what's happening. Look up t I'm racing something up top. I'm racing something up top. I just saw it. Oh, dude. Yeah, I see it now. I have to get to the end before the other snake does. What do you mean? What? 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 <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Oh, that broke me a little. Yeah, even that is like a little bit of a kick to the teeth. Really? I don't know, the timing on this seems ridiculously tight. I think I may have already ruined it, but whatever, let's just try anyway. Why, why do I keep doing that? <laughs> How do I keep doing that? So, this is so not cool. <laughs> this is so not cool. I mean, at least it offers a quick restart, so that's kind of nice. Thank you for the bits, Nectar. Enjoy the Mero emote. I mean, okay. At least this is fun. This part of the stage. As difficult as it might be, it's enjoyable. That first part of the stage, I did not enjoy one bit. This, at the very least, I find fun. No, it's not gonna happen, but I may as well try. Okay. So let's see, if I start from here, Go across, across, and then I should go up instantly. Or down instantly. It's, it's kind of hard to tell. I'm leaning towards up. 
Because if you were to go down, that makes the timing that much tighter. such as ah oh, this part here is so dumb i don't like it one bit but whatever i'll, I'll cope the other thing about this is it's not like i can go get a fire flower or something or a cape because it's been designed in a manner where you can't get through this if you're big And it completely destroys the pipe if you don't make it there quickly enough. Oh, my God. was good. I had a pretty good lead on that. I had a good lead and then uh, the block didn't hit. I do this to myself, like, I could have streamed anything. I'm better than that. Well, I mean, I know. I, like, I'm picking a very difficult thing to do. Didn't grab it. But I mean, to some degree, like, there's something that's... I guess pushing the right buttons in my brain, right? That I'm enjoying myself, despite how frustrating it, it must be. supposed to do. how did I do it last time I made it I made it I just fuck off like I got there oh, come oh, all right whatever this one's gone I I made that <laughs> I was there
Oh, this is so, so frustrating. But I got the right idea to go straight down and then you need to ride the wave back up. That's the second time I've gotten there, I think, roughly on time, and it's still... Oh no, this one's not working. What do you mean? How does that work? Do I have to ro how did I do it the first time? I made it hit the switch, but I just wasn't there. Do I just need to collide with it? This one's bad, I already know it. Just based on the timing of that one. Then, what do you do here? Yeah. I've gone back to just not liking the stage. This is conceptually fun, but if the ending is, is that, that is, uh, that's not great. run out of life, so I, I best exit the stage soon. I'm worried if I exit the stage I'm gonna lose progress. That's the problem. And if I game over, I will most definitely lose progress. So I'll only do it when I absolutely have to. I don't get this, dude. It seems like if I try to float up there, I'm not gonna get there in time. Okay, hang on. No, I can't now. I was... Because <sighs> you can't kick when you're swimming, so... You can only throw. Yep, good. Like, why can't the ending to that be just let me get in the pipe before the time runs out? No, it has to be some stupid leak. 
It has to be some stupid thing like that. Almost bricked that. Okay, it's fine. Can I, okay, what can't I just get in the pipe? Am I overcomplicating this? Is this just I don't need to do anything here? What can't I just get in the pipe? No, because there's there's a question mark thing there, and I'm just thinking, well, don't I need to hit it? Because I hit it before, that's why I'm, I'm thinking, but then I'm looking at it, I'm like, do I need to do anything? That's just a sprite blocker. Well, I don't know these things. Like, I don't play ROM hacks that often that I know that, oh, it's one of these things that's just there to do a particular thing in the stage. I'm playing this game like as if my inner child was playing, where I'm like, ooh, there's a secret there. I must go after said secret. So I could have just uh, all right, fuck. All right, great. That's like twenty plus minutes of everyone's time that we could have. Uh... Oh come on, that's not cool. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. So, you know, I had it correct. See, this is one of these times where it's like, if I'm doing something that is questionable, and you know what the answer is, just say it. <laughs> I'm worried that I'm not going to be able to get this in the next 29 lives. But it doesn't do what it said it did before. Which is, when you scroll it stops it, so it's, it was a temporary gimmick. Wow, this is... Do I just need to just jump off them? Like maybe it's a case of catching a midair like this. No. <sighs> just let me finish the fucking stage.
of a one dragon coin. Look, I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to predict where it's gonna go and then try and land on it. Which is a little bit... Oh, that is... Yeah, that is... That looks like it's the only way of doing it. It's just a little annoying, to say the least. Maybe I need to jump from further back, like... If I go from here... Yeah, that might, that might be the ticket. Okay. Because if I'm jumping from here, there's no way. Right to the very end, the stage. I may have to... I don't want to exit and lose progress, that's the problem I'm having. I don't think you can thread the needle either, I think that's just... Try jumping off from the right. What do you mean? You mean from... From here? Jumping on from here? Okay. Uh, yeah, the only issue is I have to... I don't think I have trajectory, but I'll, I'll try. It does seem to be less of a punch to the dick. How else do you get it? That's the thing. Okay. Like, uh, I'm fairly certain you need to do it from this side because you have the height on this side. On that side, you don't appear to have the height to jump on. Dude, this level, I'm sorry, but it's just, it's clearly intended to just be annoying. The creator's gone out of their way just to make everything tedious along the way. It's also, the ice is still in effect. It's one of these things where the last section should have been the end and that's it. But instead of, like, having a nice high and be like, Yeah, I'm so proud that I finished that level. It does- it does this. Wait, I can just reset it? Okay, hang on. That helps a bit, I guess. Alright, I think I get how you're supposed to do it. <laughs> sort of. We'll, we'll see. Maybe I'm wrong. It would be perfect 
if there was no ice physics, that's the thing that's the worst right now, is even if I do land it, the slippery physics are screwing me over in terms of controlling where my character is. Like, oh yeah, let's do a precise jump and then also add snow on top of it. I'm just wondering if I should just finish. Okay, hang on. I'm scared that I, I only have one life left. Yeah, this is how bad this is, is now I'm resorting to grinding coins. It's a good thing those respawn. Wait, a small quick jump should remove the stutter to the momentum on ice. Yeah, I mean, it's one of those things that reading it makes logical sense. The other thing is just executing it is a completely different story. You know, it's, it's like the classic how to draw an owl, step one, and then step two is draw the rest of the owl. At least, if I die, I'm going to exit and go save, because even if I have to repeat other sections, at least the other dragon coins are secured. <laughs> Almost. Too early. trying not to die. At least it has that kindness of being able to use the pipe to reset it. That's... Ah, no! Oh no, I hit re... Oh, shit. I hit, re I hit retry. <sighs> but, like... Does it go to life zero, or is... This is what I hate about 90s games. There was no consistent standard with lives, so... I can't remember if this game goes to life zero or life one and then it's game over. And I don't want to risk it because if I game over, I know for sure it puts me back and then I've lost progress. I'm, I'm sorry, I, I'm going to take the minute here. It'd be way worse if I have to do everything again. As opposed to, okay, yeah, he's just going to collect a hundred coins very quickly, it's fine. What a fun level. So, <laughs> it's been... It's been an hour and 20 minutes of this stage. severely underestimated how long it would take to collect 100 coins. Oh, see, that's more efficient. I 
just can't believe that it, it puts this at, as the very last thing. Instead of leaving with a sense of satisfaction of what I did in the previous section, this is the way this level ends, is just the frustration of not being able to get the last dragon coin. Yep, and I'm not playing this on an emulator, so it's not like I have a rewind feature or anything. This is on, on hardware, so it's like... This is what I have to do. do this 15 more times. Ugh. I'm gonna have the sound effects stuck in my head now. The pipe sound. Ten more. I just thought about this, I, I I had to go in this pipe 50 times. I think after every attempt, just so it's not excruciating if I die again, each attempt I'm gonna get these coins. <laughs> just... Okay. There we go. Alright. Wait, they're back now? Okay. No, because I died, that's why. That's why. Okay. Yeah! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh, that stage sucked! My reward is the map links up. Yes, please save it. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, here's the problem now. The stages I have left to pick from, they're all annoying. Like... Just to show- I don't know if I'm in the mood for this. Yeah, oh yeah, it's- it's one of these, like... Where the player just dies constantly. In the first few seconds of the stage. I'm not sure I'm in the mood for this. Okay, but like, at least it buys me this kindness. I think the way this stage works is, every time you progress it does do this. Good work. Um, okay, here's one thing I'm gonna be curious about. Let me exit. Because this will serve as uh, a point of reference, I guess, for other stages that have this mechanic. I want to see if my progress got lost or what.
Oh yeah, let me see if there's anything new to unlock here. Pixel perfect. Pixel perfect. Shell sticker. 1F8. So, there has to be more stages then, because I haven't come across any of these. But I'm kind of scared of the stage that's called Pixel Perfect. That doesn't sound like a fun time. just get a little bit of extra lives. I'm not sure I'm gonna continue to attempt that, but let's just... Let's just see what happens here. This, this this part here, like, why? Okay, it does save progress, so that's good. That's good to know. Oh, and you have to be quick about it, too. I'll have a few attempts at it just to round this stream off a bit in terms of time. Yeah, no, that's not gonna work. The other stage that is up for uh, completion, it's very similar conceptually. It's just a bunch of little. Se what? It's just a bunch of segments like this, and it's kind of annoying. Like, okay. I'm gonna have... Let me... Ugh, stop it. I want to get out of the stage. The other stage. Um, I think it's from here. Yeah, so the other stage that I have to pick from is this one. And this one's just... Again, it's very similar conceptually. It's just... Ugh. Just a bunch of things strung together that's just gonna make my life a living hell for at least an hour. Look, do, do you hate it already? Like, this one's like, no, see, so what you're going to learn here is a highly specific mechanic, and then we're going to design a whole level around it. At least this one doesn't have a timer. The other one did. This, how do people find this fun, honestly? I know it's to each their own, but dude... You have to realize that this is really an acquired taste right, right now.
Uh, all right. Yeah, first try, easy, nailed it. Isn't this fun? Yep. <laughs> yep. Yep. Okay, but that took less time than before, so... Dude, I, <laughs> I'm gonna have one more attempt, but I, I don't think I have the patience for either of these two levels. And the other stage that remains is Bowser's Castle, but I feel like that's something I should leave to last, right? But this is... <sighs> no matter what, from this point on onwards, this stage is gonna take me two hours. I, I, I guarantee it. Okay, I'll try my best to memorize that, but let's face it, I'm gonna go through this process again next time. This is extreme patience required here. I don't understand what it wants me to do there. I know I said one more try, but like, let me at the very least. I'm trying to make a mental note of where I'm standing when I jump and I make it. This is going to be excruciating if I have to do this every time. Okay, so it's like roughly second last bean. Am I able to grab the spring behind the cage? Uh, you know what? I'm going to try it because, yeah, no, I can't. We must not overlook the most obvious answer. I'm a firm believer of like, the longer something takes, the more likely that the answer is very, very simple. And you're gonna feel like an idiot for not considering it sooner. Cool, so yeah, uh, these are the two stages that I, I get to pick from next time, so, you know, that's, that's fun and all. Um, I wonder if there's a clue for this stage, yeah? Either way, yeah. Ugh. I'm gonna be put through the ringer.
that's unlocked. What we want is the hint room. That one. Chains of Atrophy. Chains of Atrophy Secret. Okay, Monument. Here we go. Oh no, so this is further on. Oh yeah, no, yeah, this, this, this looks like fun. Can't wait for this. Dude, come on, really? Yeah, I mean, there's no way I would figure this out. Particularly that part where it's like, yeah, just scroll to the left. A thing that is off screen and you would never consider on your own. Just do it. I don't know why you didn't think of it. There's a thing where it's like, just like with jokes, if you have to explain it, it's probably not very good. Not intuitive at all. Anyway. I'm gonna hit the save area. Okay. I finished one stage. As you can see, the two stages that remain, they require a higher level of existence that surpasses what I'm capable of right now. <laughs> so... We're gonna leave it here for tonight. It's already 10 o'clock here. Jump is pretty tough. It is, but it's not on the extreme side of Kaizo. It's, it's manageable. It's about as far as I go in terms of difficulty. But what I appreciate about this ROM hack is just there are all these fun and creative levels amongst it. So it does balance it out quite a bit. And it starts off pretty tame, so I enjoy it. Alright, well, thank you so much for watching.